Chapter 14, Fort Aswagachi in Peril. A French and Indian patrol on April 25, 1779, killed two British soldiers and captured four, only yards from Fort Aswagachi. The enemy patrol consisted of more than 30 Indians and several white men. The fort commander, Ensign Davis, and a group of soldiers, suddenly attacked less than 400 yards from the post, were under, as he later reported, a very smart fire from a strong party of rebel Indians, which unfortunately killed two of my men. Writing the grim details to Haldeman on April 27th, Davis said, On the 25th instant, I took four soldiers with me in order to examine the woods in this vicinity. I had not gone 400 yards until I received a very smart fire from a strong party of rebel Indians, which unfortunately killed two of my men. I, with the other two men, narrowly escaped, being pursued to within a 100 yards of the fort, the fort having immediately kept up a constant fire with a six-pounder and small arms, which made them retreat without, however, doing them any hurt. Four of soldiers, notwithstanding the strictest order I have given not to go beyond their garden, went a-fishing in the Black River, which is the route the Indians had come, and were taken prisoners. Two Oswagachi Indians came in about half an hour after the rebels disappeared, and informed me they had been stopped by the enemy and given their liberty on condition they would not acquaint me of their approach. This small body of His Majesty's Indians, however, made all possible expedition to inform me, though too late. The rebel scout consisted of Tuscarora and Oneida savages, with a few white men, in all between thirty and forty in number. I am under the necessity of sending Ensid Hope with this express to Your Excellency, being very much distressed for men, not having absolutely soldiers enough to line one face of the works. General Haldeman on May 2nd at Quebec composed a cutting reprimand to Davis. Sir, I have received yours of the 27th April, and am much mortified at your loss. The misfortune of the four men being taken prisoners appears to me to be entirely your fault, because I cannot suppose it possible that soldiers who are well disciplined and accustomed to obey orders would ever disobey them in points of such importance. And if you have not brought your garrison to a proper obedience, I must blame you and you alone. Before this reaches you, Captain Fraser, with a considerable body of Indians, will take command at Fort Oswagachi. You will obey his order and exert yourself as much as possible to prevent the enemy from interrupting the transport of provision. On April 21st, Haldeman had ordered Captain Alexander Fraser of the 34th Regiment to Fort Oswagachi at once and take command immediately. Fraser was directed to take with him 40 or 50 Indians to be employed with the detachment of the 81st Regiment already there, expressing apprehension that the rebels have formed a design to intercept and annoy the convoys on their way upriver, Haldeman ordered that transport of provision for the upper posts take place as soon as navigation permitted.